We're going to look at how to create a Layer 2 GRE tunnel using Open vSwitch bridges on Linux. So first of all, I have two machines, Machine 1 and Machine 2. And I'll jump over to Machine 1 and go ahead and it already has Open vSwitch, vSwitch already installed and running. So I just need to add bridges and see what we have. So I'll do a OVS VS CTL show. And I can see that I have open vSwitch up and running and there are no bridges there. So I'm going to go ahead and create a bridge. So I'll do OVS VSCTL and I'm going to add a bridge. Add BR and I'll just call it my bridge. Now, if we look at this, we can see that it creates both a bridge called my bridge and it has a port with an interface and that interface can have an IP address assigned to it. So I'm going to go ahead and assign an IP address to that interface right now. So we have it in place. So IP ADDR add let's do 172.16.0.1 slash 24 um, to the device my bridge. So I assign that interface. And the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and activate that interface. So you can activate it by doing IP link set dev my bridge and turn it up. Now if I type in I have config, I can see that I have the regular IP address, but I also have my bridge IP address right here. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing over this machine as well to activate this and, well, create the bridge. So for this one, I'll do OVS VS CTL add BR and I'm going to create a bridge and I'll call it the same thing, just my bridge. And then once it is activated, I can go ahead and just do a little show command right here and I can see that the interface is there. I'm going to then assign an IP address to the interface, IP ADDR, add, and the 172.16.0.2, so a different IP address in the same subnet range. Now these things are not connected at this point. Oops, add, I need a device my bridge there we go now these things are not connected at this point um, but I do have the bridges there um, I'm gonna go ahead and activate it IP link and I want to set this thing to be activated so set device my bridge up oh. okay I have config, and you can see that it does have an IP address right there, 172.16.0.2. Now, if I want to connect these two machines together, this IP address and the other IP address over here, um, I need to span the network with a tunnel. So I'm going to go ahead and create a tunnel right here, and I'm going to connect the bridges together with a... Uh, a GRE interface, which is in addition to the MyBridge interface IP address. So I'll do OVS and VS CTL add port. So I'll add another port to it. And I'm going to add it to the MyBridge. And it's going to be GRE 0. And I am going to set the inner face GRE 0 to be a type GRE and the options I'm going to pass is remote IP equals the IP address of the other machine which is right here. So I'll take that right there and paste it. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on this other one as well. So I can just copy everything all the way up to here and then 
paste it. And then I want the IP address of this machine, which is right here, to be pasted right there. All right, at this point, I can see that I have my interface there created. So the GRE interface is right there. Um, it's not really doing any IP version for like layer three type stuff. It's it's connecting over layer three, but it's 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 doing a layer two connection. And so I can ping my internal or local interface with one and then it's one seventy two dot sixteen dot zero dot one. And you can see that it pings just fine. And if I ping the dot two, you can see it goes all the way across the internet to the other side and it's taking roughly 60 milliseconds. And I can go to the other machine right here and I can ping my 172.16.0.2, which is my local one. And you can see it's very, very quick. And the dot one, you can see it pings all the way across the other side and it's about 60 milliseconds to the other side. So that makes it possible for us to then use this GRE tunnel, which is a layer two tunnel. So if I were to add an additional interface, I could do that as well. If I had another machine and then I could tunnel and put that other machine in the same network, the same subnet. Anyway, but that's how you do a GRE tunnel over layer or layer two tunnel over uh, OpenVSwitch.